All right, now I want to move on to uh, the next part of the show here, and I want to answer a piece of mail from a viewer that asked me a question. They asked me, what do you think of those body armor backpacks for yourself or for your kids? If you don't get one for adults, if you don't like it for adults, what do you think about kids having them? Like maybe at school. Well, I'm going to say one, I ain't wearing a backpack anywhere. So I don't think it's very practical for me. If you want one and you want to walk around looking like that all day, go ahead. I don't think I'll be wearing any type of body armor around in my daily life. I think if I get to a point where I have to wear body armor in my daily life, I'm going to stay home if society ever gets that bad. But, you know, uh, as far as the question uh, whether kids should have them and whether I would give them to my kids, mm, I don't think so, really. Uh, not because I don't want to create a culture of fear with my child. I would just like treat him like, isn't this cool? It's bulletproof. Uh, I'm not making him afraid, just make him think I got something cool. But I just don't know how effective they are. For one, soft body armor, not that effective, especially against rifles or any decent caliber up close. So I'm not really sure how much one of those backpacks would save my child's life, especially since they have to react and put it on right first, uh, unless someone's shooting them from behind, I guess. But I also fear that it would give them a sense of confidence that they shouldn't have, like, aha, I've got my backpack, so I'm okay. When they should be dealing more with being aware of where the rounds are coming from, getting to safety, getting to a, a you know, cover, whatever. Uh, and even the time it takes them to put it on. That's time I think would be better spent getting to fucking cover because I don't really know what the chances one of those things saving them would be, especially not for the parts it covers, you know, hitting the side, hitting the head, hitting the, the lower abdomen, something like that. And the, those don't cover that. So uh, I just don't think the chances of them being useful either to adults or children is really that big. I don't think there's much of a chance of it being that way. Uh, but I do think, like I say, I worry that it would give people a false sense of security, that they would waste time putting that on instead of getting to cover, and it might actually cost lives. Now, I can't prove that. I can't put that on paper and show it. But you asked me what I think. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't want one. If you want one, more power to you. I don't care. Uh, I'm not going to put one on my kids. Uh, most of my kids are grown now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. When they were little, my, maybe I would have thought different, but I don't think so. Uh, if you want to put them on your kids, I don't care. I do wish you wouldn't frighten your children into saying, this is something you're probably going to need because it's horrible out there and some everyone's going to get shot and blah, blah, blah. No, make it something. Here's something really freaking cool. It's a bulletproof backpack. That way you don't create a fear in them. You just give them a sense of, you know, uh, joy or uh, superiority. You know, not superiority, but I've got something cool that you don't have. That kind of thing. That, that It's a positive thing, not a negative thing. But like I said, I don't want them. Don't think my kids need them. But beyond that, it's up to you.